very important to understand that the United States is the most secure great power in the history of the world. It just doesn't get any better from a security point of view than the situation that the United States has. First of all, there's the geography. The United States is separated from all of the other great powers in the world by two giant oceans, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. And for any country to attack the United States, they have to cross either the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean. We have neighbors like Canada and Mexico, which are incredibly weak and would never think about attacking the United States. As I like to say, if you think about American security, we have Canadians to the north, fish to the west, Mexicans to the south, and fish to the east. That's just the geography. Then there's our power. We are, as you all know, an incredibly powerful country. Two building blocks of military power, our population size, and wealth. We have a huge population, and we are incredibly rich. And during the post-Cold War period, we were the sole great power, the only great power on the planet. Unipolar moment, one great power, that was the United States. And then finally, we have thousands of nuclear warheads, and nuclear weapons are the ultimate deterrent. So just think about the United States in the post-Cold War period. We're separated from the rest of the world by two giant moats, we have no great power rival because it's the unipolar moment, and we've got thousands of nuclear weapons. Tell me, does it get any better than that? <laughs> no. Second point you want to keep in mind, and I'll reemphasize this later on in the talk, uh, has to do with American grand strategy. Outside of the Western Hemisphere, outside of our backyard, there are three areas of the world that we care about. Europe, Northeast Asia, and the Persian Gulf. Not the Middle East, the Persian Gulf. Those are the three areas that most American policymakers believe are so important that we're, we are willing to expend large amounts of blood and iron. Why do we care about Europe and Northeast Asia? Because those are the two areas of the world where the other great powers are. Northeast Asia, had Russia slash the Soviet Union, Japan, China. Europe, of course, had Napoleonic France, Imperial Germany, Nazi Germany, the Soviet Union. And the Persian Gulf, we care about that area, not because there are any great powers, but that's because the oil is there, and oil really matters. So those are the three areas that matter the most for the United States. And of course, Europe is inextricably bound up with NATO. Third point you want to keep in mind, and this will become clear as we go along, is that there are differences between the foreign policy elite in the United States and the American public regarding how to think about foreign policy. The foreign policy elites in the United States tend to be more interventionist than the public. And this gets back to my very first point. Remember what my very first point was. The United States is a remarkably secure great power. Most Americans don't care about foreign policy because we're a remarkably secure great power. It just doesn't matter very much. We're not like Romania that lives in a bad and dangerous neighborhood surrounded by countries. Historically, they're much bigger. You, public here in Romania, tends to pay a lot of attention to foreign policy, certainly much more than the United States. And it's because of geography. The elites, however, the foreign policy establishment in the United States really cares about the whole subject of America's role in the world. And it is very ambitious in terms of what it wants to do around the globe. 